Hi, I'm Craig Phillips, and in this video, I want to show you how to build your own workbench using recycled pallet wood. The tools you're going to require is an electric chop saw. If you don't have one of them, a hand saw is okay. Cordless drills, screws, a clamp, tape measure, pencil, electric sander, drill bits, and some glue. Now the first stage is to decide how high you actually want the workbench to be. I've chosen 770 millimeters for the legs. Now the legs have got to be nice and stable. So what we are going to do is taking off the slats off the standard pallets, you have these skid sections underneath. They're around about four inches by two, nice and thick. I'm going to use them for the legs. We'll mark up four of them at 770 millimeters. Chop these down. So we cut four of them to the same size. Right, that's now the four legs all cut into position. The next thing is we want to use a similar piece of timber, which is a 3B2. Again, it's the skids that are used on the underside of the pallet, but I'm going to create a frame for the top of the table, a rectangular shape. You've got to decide how long you want it and how wide you want it. I'm going to choose it to be about 900 millimeters wide and about 600 millimeters in depth. That's one side of the frame. I'm going to cut another one at 600 millimeters and then two of them at 900 millimeters to make that rectangular shape. So that's our four pieces cut now for the tabletop and the frame. All we got to do now is screw these together and create a rectangular shape like this. I'm going to use my pencil and mark up the width of what this wood is. And same again on the opposite side. And then when I turn that over, I'll drill right in the center of that, two holes for the pilot holes. Same again the opposite side. Plenty of glue on them corners. Place it on the corner of this workbench so I know I'm getting it nice and square. And using large 80 millimeter screws. Same again on the opposite side. Place the other side into position. Again, marking it with your pencil. And drill your pilot holes. Plenty of glue. Nice and square to the corner and drive your screws in. Our legs, we can start to fit them by placing them into position. Again, we'll drill some pilot holes in here, plenty of glue around that corner and simply screwed into position. Glue on two sides of the timber where it meets the corner, like that. 
nice and flush so it's at the underside bottom of the table and again nice long 80 millimeter screws holding them firmly in position Once you've got one in, you repeat the same on the other three. Now that's the four legs and the top frame of the table constructed. The next stage is, is to fix the slats across the top. The standard size of the slats are usually about a metre or 1200 millimetres in length. So I'm going to place one on one end, offer it up so it's flush, and then make a pencil mark on the other end. I'm going to chop that down and then repeat that with nine separate pieces to cover the entire top. So that's nine pieces all cut to size. We can place plenty of glue all the way along the top frame to help fix them slats down nice and secure. First piece can be placed up nice and square with the top frame. A little clamp for the very first one before it's screwed down. Double checking it's flush. Drill a couple of pilot holes. We always want to have two screws at least in each end. Same again in the opposite end. I want to fix alongside it but what I also want to do is just put a little line of glue along the top of here to make it nice and tight against there and strong. Again you can use your clamp. Squeeze that together. You might get a little bit of glue squeezing through the joint but that's not a problem offer it up make sure it's nice and flush on the sides a couple more pilot drills to stop the wood splitting on both ends and then it's screwed down And then of course we do the same with the other seven till we've completely covered the top. And likewise with the front one and the back one, we also screwed that down to the frame above it there. So that's now the top of the bench cut and fixed into position. You might find, you might have a little bit of spring in there depending on how long you make it. If you do find you've got a little bit of spring between there, you can also cut another section here glue it underneath and screw it down that'll stabilize it and of course if you're making this a lot longer you may need to put them in about every 500 millimeters apart now the top of the workbench is complete it's nice and solid what we've got to focus on is the legs themselves if there was an excessive weight on the top the legs could have a tendency of moving out or even falling to one side so what we need to do is brace it up so again we can use the slats off the pallet fixing them all the way around the bottom. So we start by placing it up to the top of the legs, flush on one side, marking it the other side. We cut that down, we do the same for the opposite side, and then we simply fix these into position.
and that's the four base rails all the way around the legs, keeping it nice and stable. What we can do now is put some more slats across here and this can act as a lower shelf. That's about right, nice and flush on all of them edges and then we can start to pilot drill them again and fix them into position. As per normal with the most slats, two screws is ample. Now that's the bottom shelf complete. Before we build the back section to it, what's wise to do is give it a good sanding down first and I'm going to use a belt sander. Now for the backboard of the workbench. Very simple construction. I've started off with the two pieces of 3v2, which are the skids at the bottom of the pallets, and then I've took the slats off, re-screwed them down with just a small gap, like what we did on the bottom shelf. So that's nice and secure on there. What we're gonna do is lift that into position, sit it directly on top of the bench. Of course, I've cut these slats down to the length of what the bench is. With these timbers that are coming down the back, I've also applied a small section on there. What that's going to do is allow me to screw into there and keep that nice and upright so we've got a square angle from here. I'm going to use some four inch screws this time. I've already pre-drilled some pilot holes. So I'll line them up, making sure it's flush with that edge and simply screw that into position. Now that is nice and solid, square and upright to the bench. You probably noticed I've also fixed in another slat directly to the top of it to hang over like a little small shelf, but I've pre-drilled some small holes in there these are ideal for storing tools in them. Simple and easy to do it with a hole cutter. Perfect. You can even cut a small little notch out and slide your hammer into holding position. And that's how easy it is to make a workbench from recycled pallets. If you'd like to see some more great DIY tips, visit the website, civilliontools.com.